I'm new to cold approaching girls. What's the easiest approach method? If you're getting a um, not great response on some of your opens, number one, pick low hanging fruit to start with. You'll get to all of it. You'll get to the supermodel on her cell phone in a group talking, you know, talking loudly um, to her boyfriend, right? You'll, you'll get there eventually. Yeah. But let's start with the girl sitting in a coffee shop not doing anything, right? That's a much easier one. Or the girl sitting in a park clearly has nothing urgent going on in her day and she's not running fast. You don't have to catch up with her, right? Give yourself that benefit, right? And then go in, give yourself, you know, a nice, a nice compliment, delivered well, hopefully, so they're coming off congruence. And then if she likes it, then you can go ahead and maybe try and close, okay? Now, obviously, if you can stay long, you'd like to get to know her, you'd like to continue it, you'd like to have a longer interaction. But if you just did do open close, there's a certain percentage of girls that are just going to like your look, like your vibe, and or just be like very impressed by the fact that you had the balls to come over and talk to them and did it confidently, that you'll get a certain number of numbers from that. And that's a start, right? And you'll get kind of what he's getting, which is a lot of flakes, but some good results. And essentially, if you look at my system, the system, um, that's what I basically say. I say the, the simplest model that could possibly work is open close, which is what you're doing. You're doing open close, right? Um, and it can work. It's not high percentage. If instead you added open premise close, make it three steps instead of two, your results go way up. If instead you make it open premise evaluate close, now your results go way up. If you're able to add narrative, which frankly only works if it's a decently long set anyway, because you don't need narrative in a short set, but then you have a very solid set where the girl actually is chasing you and pursuing you and, and really wants it to go, right? But make sure that the pieces of game you're doing, you're doing well, right? Because if you go up and you have a good opener where you are fairly confident you're presenting yourself well, that's going to go, it's going to increase your percentages tremendously if you have a bad open, it's not, right? If your open is, uh, I, hi, excuse me, um, I am sorry, I like, but like, uh, so um, could I maybe talk to you for a second? And uh, um, look, I think you're really cute, right? That's not going to work very well, right? Whereas if you're like, hey, excuse me, um, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt your day, but um, you just are quite stunning. And I was... I'd be remiss if I didn't come tell you that, right? Something like that. Like that's a much more confident version of the same, right? And if you can actually deliver it well, I mean, that was a very, I guess, very overly educated version of it. But if you can deliver it with confidence, as opposed to nervousness, you can deliver it with a smile on your face instead of seeming timid, all of that's going to dramatically increase your percentages. Both the percentages of girls that will say yes when you ask for a number right afterwards, and also the percentage of girls that will continue the conversation with you and actually help you to figure out that middle part, right? Because what will happen sometimes, and tell me if this happens to you, sometimes you, you open close and the girl tries to ask you questions about yourself. Yeah, that's not that happens, yeah. yeah, and why do they do that? It's because they basically realize like they're, the middle part's missing. They're actually kind of trying to help you. They're like, I, well, I'd like to be closed, but like it's just too sudden. I don't feel right about it because it's missing. And so they actually help you fill that in. Yeah. You're going to gradually learn what works. Right? From any method that has any kind of substantial chance of working, you can learn and you can improve from there. Right? And that's what I'd hope you do, is that I'd hope that as you um, do the method more, you challenge yourself to, instead of like, hi, talk to you, it's going well, okay, what's your number? Make yourself go, hi, okay, it's nice talking to you. All right, conversation's gonna die. I try to make it go a little bit longer. All right, try and add one more good bit, and then what's your number? And then once, that, once that's comfortable and working even better for you, then you add one more good bit and one more good bit and you kind of expand it out until you have real actual game. And that's actually the way I would proceed for you is take what you're already doing that works or works kind of, works sort of, and add a little bit to it. So the challenge I would give you is um, whenever you feel like leaving, whenever you feel like doing the leave and get the number, try one more thing first. And then after trying that one more thing, if you get to an awkward silence, like the next awkward silence or the next moment you want to leave, then get the number. And you're going to have sets with a little more depth, right? So instead of having, hi, I thought you were cute or hi, I thought you were adorable. And then the number's based on that. It's hi, I thought you were adorable. Okay, tell me something about yourself. Or here's a little joke that challenges you. She responds and then you get a number. And now when she gets the number or when you get her number, um, she has a little more recollection of you, a little more memory of you. Um, there was a little more depth to the conversation. And then occasionally, the girl's going to take, take the reins, right? The girl's going to actually really like the conversation, really continue it, and then you get a deep, solid number.